Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today I'm here to do a pick a card reading for you. It's not a pick a card, it's a pick a deck reading for you. You see three piles in front of you, three different decks. And one is, pile number one is Ethereal Visions. Pile number two is Touchstone Tarot. And pile number three is Golden Tarot, okay? So we are doing this reading to find out general guidance for you, okay? This is a general topic. It could, anything could come up in this reading. General messages from your spirit guides, from your guardian angels, okay? So take your time. You can pause the video here and see which is the deck that calls your attention, okay? Ethereal Visions, Touchstone Tarot, and the Golden Tarot. Pile number one, so for those of you who chose this deck, which is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck, this is your reading and we will find out what messages do you need to hear right now, okay? What do you need to know about your current situation? General messages for you, pile number one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you never miss such readings, okay? And share it amongst your friends. This channel is uh, fairly new. It's, it's not even a year old. I started this channel on uh, 4th of May last year. And I'm really thankful to all of you for showing so much of love and support to, to this channel. Uh, please subscribe and share it amongst your friends so that this channel grows and becomes a community of a huge number of beautiful people, okay? So starting your reading, pile number one, what messages need to come to you? What needs your attention right now? What do you need to know? Pile number one, what do you need to know? Spirit guides and guardian angels. So pile number one, please connect with me and tell me what does pile number one need to know right now. Five of pentacles. Pile number one, I see uh, things are not easy. Okay. I would not lie. Things are not easy. You are looking for that comfort. You are looking for some kind of a support from somebody to ease your situation out okay this is a feeling of uh being left out alone in a dark phase of your life being left out alone in the cold you you're feeling like there's no one around to help you but that's not the case because um uh, i see that your spirit guides and guardian angels want to show this card to you because they want to tell you that they are always around you okay so pile number one i sympathize with your situation uh it could be a financial crunch or something that is bothering you and you are uh seeking support and help the sun beautiful things are beautifully getting cleared up very soon okay um the current season is the spring and we are heading towards the summer season so i see by the summer season when you know the sun hits its strongest point okay the peak summer season your uh fate shine uh, starts to shine all the worries and disappointments that you are um you know going through is going to fade away as the sun shines through um, i see that this is going to happen most probably by you know april may during that time when it is like full-on summer peak season um you see this lady holding up the sun for you this is your spirit guide who is trying to show you that look up look up at the sun seek inspiration from the brightness, from the glow, from this, from the beautiful yellow gold, uh, sun kissed energy around you. Okay, you are soon going to smile looking at the sun. Uh, currently, you are in this cold, 
uh, energy where it's you know it feels cold and gloomy and dark but very soon you're going to you know uh, enjoy the warmth and love and joy in your life with the sun peeking out from the clouds let's see a little more pile number one emperor see i see stability if this was like a situation related to finances you know not getting a job not having an opportunity to earn money then all of it is fade, fading off with the emperor coming in i see stability you are in charge of your life you are in charge of everything you are in a position to take action to change things according to your wish okay so the energy of the emperor is like you hold the power of your life. You hold um, the authority on your life. There is no one else who is telling you what to do. But you are in a position to make important decisions of your life. And that is in a beautiful, um, a beautiful phase coming in your life where you have uh, the possibility, the opportunity to, you know, mold things according to you. You may have opportunities, you may have different opportunities to choose from, okay? You may have the liberty to choose that I want to do this and I don't want to do this, okay? So I see that you have opportunity to choose, you have different possibilities open. Um, the, you know, fate is shining bright on you, pile number one. So whatever you're going through is very, very temporary you see the world card here pile number one it's like you're ending a difficult phase of your life you are um entering something very new you're stepping into a phase of your life which is very new to you probably you've never experienced this in your life something is shining so bright in your life and you are it's like putting a new life in you it's like uh, a rebirth okay it's like a rebirth for you. It's like living a fresh new life, uh, looking at the world with a fresh new set of eyes. And everything looks so positive, radiant, golden, and full of uh, luminosity. Okay, your aura is glowing, pile number one. So please hold on. The dark phase that you're in is very, very temporary. It is not going to last see four of wands beautiful cards uh, april is the time that you will see the ch this change coming into your life as i said the sun uh, and also four of wands is uh you know uh, validating this point that april onwards your life is going to change something is something beautiful is coming into your life that you will love to celebrate with your close friends and family okay this is an important light, important milestone that you're achieving. It's a, it's a, it's a goal achievement. It's, it's something that you have always wanted, and you're finally getting it in the month of April. Okay, there's so much of positivity and joy in your spread pile number one. Although your reading started with something very gloomy, and hurtful, and you know not a very positive vibe. The five of pentacles you started and you are heading towards the sun, the emperor, the world and the four of wands, which is showing a beautiful progress for you. Okay. What is your advice? What should you do now? What should you do now? Pile number one. Let me see. Page of wands. Be enthusiastic be positive and look up at the future with a very very positive outlook okay be very feel the enthusiasm that something new is coming my way it's okay that things are not working out currently but this is just the present the future is brighter the future is better better things are coming towards me look at this picture where this uh, this woman is uh, holding up this wand with so much of confidence and looking up at the sky 
you know, uh, you need to believe that uh, your potential is very high. Okay, the sky is the limit for you. With this positive at attitude, with this positive belief, with this uh, confidence in yourself, um, the sky is really the limit for you. You can achieve huge amount of uh, success and victory in your life only if you have a very strong, confident and positive outlook about your upcoming future. Okay, don't let what is bothering you uh, rule you. Okay, you are the emperor. You hold the power. Don't let the situations, the negative situations pull you down. Don't let um, negative influences uh, make your uh, light dimmer. Okay, pile number one. So that's a very beautiful advice from your spirit guides and your guardian angels. Look up to the future with very expectant eyes and the universe will never fail you. Okay, seven of wands. You need to Hold up fighting with the situation that you're facing for just a little bit longer. Okay, seven of wands. Um, seven of wands is trying to tell you that look at this picture, how this man is fighting the other wands. Probably he's at a height and the other and other people are trying to attack him from a lower altitude. But this person is at a, at the benefit of being able to stand and fight from a height. So you have the benefit of you know, being in a better position than you think, okay? You may not uh, know that uh, you are at a better position, but this is uh, whatever you're fighting is going to work out and you are going to win this very soon, okay? Pile number one. So please don't lose hope. Keep fighting and things are going to work out very soon. The sun is going to shine out very soon in your reading. The temperance, whatever is not working out for you, things are automatically going to blend in, okay? You are turning water to wine. You may not know, but this is pure alchemy. You are turning, not having enough resources to having a lot of wealth and power, okay? So there is a huge, uh, you know, energetical uh, alchemy going on behind the scenes. You may not be aware, but everything is happening behind the scenes for you, pile number one. Things are changing, things are moving, okay? Things are blending in. A lot of forces are coming together to make the desired life for you. Please do not leave hope because uh, whatever you desire is coming true. The temperance is all about divine timing. Trust the divine timing. Fight for a little longer. Hold on to whatever difficult situation you are facing for just a little bit longer. And be hopeful. Be enthusiastic to see the beautiful future ahead. Very soon, April is not very long uh, from now, okay? We are in middle of February and March and April, just a month away. And you are going to get results of what you desire in your life, okay? Pile number one. So that was a very, very beautiful, bright, optimistic reading for you. Pile number one, I hope this brought a smile on your face. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you haven't shared it with your friends and family so that it helps my channel grow and uh, reach out to more people who need this positive dose of information. Okay, so I will see you very soon in another, in, in another pick up aisle reading. And let's move to pile number two. So pile number two, whoever chose this deck, the Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black. This is your reading, okay? I love this, uh, the packaging of this tarot deck. This is so gorgeous. Um, okay, so let's begin your reading. Pile number two. What does your spirit guides and guardian angels want to tell you? What is your current situation? Where are you headed? What is happening in general for you? Pile number two. What is your message? Three of coins, okay? Pile number two, I see that you are working diligently on creating something, okay? And it could be a collaboration. It could be a, it could be a collaboration where you are learning something from someone else or you are, you know, you're working in a team, okay? I see that you're working with two other people 
on something that is important to you, pile number two. Let's pull out more cards to find more information on you, pile number two. The world. I see that pile number two, whatever you're working on, it is going to bring you a lot of fame and recognition, okay? This is going to open new doors to, uh, to you. It is going to bring you new opportunities. It is going to um, get you a lot of recognition, okay? You'll be recognized for what you're working on. Pile number two, very interesting. For some of you, I see that if you are learning something, if you are in in some kind of an educational uh, course, if you are uh, in an institute trying to gain a degree or knowledge on something, then this degree is going to bring you a lot of new opportunities. Pile number two. It is opening a new phase in your life. Okay, the world card with the three of coins is showing a lot of success in your career world, in your materialistic world, okay, in your money, in your career, in your growth. What else does file number two need to know? Six of cups. And whatever you are achieving, whatever you're working on is something that you have been very fond of since your childhood. Okay, pile number two. For example, if you've always been fond of painting then and you suddenly decide to learn painting from a renowned institute, it is going to open a new, you know, a, a, a new world of possibilities for you. For some of you, I also see that for, for those of you who are trying to, you know, conceive a child with medical help, this is a very, uh, um, this is a very positive sign because I see that your desire of having children in your life is going to get fulfilled. Okay, but this is going to happen with the help of uh you know medical intervention it's like if you it's not by a natural means it is by medical intervention that you will go that you're going to have children in your life it could also show adoption and if you are planning to get an ivf treatment for your fertility issues then i see a huge success The overall energy is working towards a desired goal, including two or more people around you, taking their help, taking expert help and achieving the desire that you always had. Okay, that desire is going to get fulfilled very soon. File number two. The Empress, I just told you about pregnancy and the Empress came up. Definitely, it is talking about uh, motherhood and motherhood to some of you who are trying to become mothers, who are trying to conceive children. Um, the upcoming two, three months is very, very auspicious for this. So if you're trying for medical help, if you're trying for adoption possibilities you will see success in these realms okay pile number two the lovers i see that a huge uh, wish fulfillment is happening here for you pile number two this is big okay this is not small uh with the world the empress the lovers such strong positive cards i see a huge wish fulfillment something that changes your world something that turns your world 
upside down in a good way okay it changes 180 degree for you it's like living a new life altogether and this is uh getting fulfilled i see that if you are a couple and um you are planning to get married but you have some obstacles in your way the angels and you know the higher beings are blessing you so that you could be together forever okay i see uh, a man and a woman getting blessed by the angels if you are seeking love like whatever your situation is by number 2 it is all positive outcome i see there's no way things are not working out for you you are working towards it it's not that you are sitting quietly and waiting for the fate to turn around for you you are doing your work you are working towards it you are working for your growth uh, success and you're putting your honest effort towards it and finally everything becomes um aligned to your desires things are getting fulfilled your wishes are getting fulfilled things that you always wanted you know things that you always desired since your childhood is coming towards you if you wanted a very kind and generous and beautiful loving partner you are being blessed by a uh, a husband that would take care that who would take care of you a husband or a wife who would take care of you who would be kind to you who would be who would be compassionate to you okay there is a lot of love nurture and joy in your uh, spread pile number 2 five of coins the five of coins and the lovers card together show me that for for those of you who are in a uh, you know third party situation where you are separate from your loved one because of a third party intervention i see that uh, your person is going to come back to you the, the your person is going to make a choice and finally return to you uh, making an end to the separation that you have you both are soulmates okay you see the six of cups this card is of nostalgia of pure love of innocence of you know uh love in its purest form like how children bond together that's the energy there is no uh you know um uh there is no mean uh like there's no meanness in this connection that you have with this person if uh you shared a very sweet relationship with someone and for some reason it didn't work out and they went away for you know travel or work or a third party situation for whatever reason you were separated i see that you are being together very soon okay your separation is over four of coins you are back to your a uh, position of feeling stable calm and comfortable okay if you have been through a phase in your life where you were un feeling unsettled and uncomfortable regarding your finances your relationships or anything material your pile number 2 your reading is all about you know earthly desires material desires be it children be it work be it money be it a, a soulmate if you have any such issues going on in your life if you had issues with your finances everything is getting sorted everything is taken care by the lovers the world and the empress if you have money issues i see the empress card showing you that wealth and abundance is flowing towards you you do not have to worry about anything you know things will be uh taken care of a uh, very easily and smoothly people will be generous with you people will be helping the six of cups is about being generous and kind to others and um uh, i see people reaching out to you to help you if you need help okay pile number 2 all you need to do is open up okay you you need to open up you need to share uh, your feelings and your problems with others um team work group work it's you know do not feel alone do not close yourself alone you need to share yourself you need to let people in in your life so that there is scope for help there is a uh, scope for 
external intervention to make your life smooth and easy. Uh, that is your advice, pile number two. One final card for you, pile number two. The magician. You have the power to create a change, okay? Magic is working all around you and you hold the power to create this magic in your life, pile number two, okay? Do not doubt your capabilities. You are extremely skilled. Your skill holds a lot of power. You may not know it, but you have the skill. The magician and the three of coins together show me that you are a very skillful person. You are very, very talented. You hold more than one skill very easily. At least four skills you will have. Okay, pile number two. Put your skills to your maximum use and you will achieve your desired results. There is no stopping here. I see definitely there is, a, you know, a lot of uh, positivity, growth and fulfillment coming in your way by the month of uh, June. Okay, June is a very important month for you. Pile number two, I see a lot of things getting fulfilled in your life by the month of June this year. So that was your reading pile number two. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comment section if this brought a smile on your face. Uh, hit this, hit the like button if you like this reading and subscribe if you haven't. Share it amongst your friends and family so that you spread the light and positivity. And I will see you very soon in some other pick a pile reading. Okay, till then, take care. Bye bye. Pile number three, whoever chose this deck, the Golden Tarot by Cat Black, this is your reading. Okay, so let's start your reading and see what you need to know. Pile number three. Pile number three, what's coming your way? What do you need to know? What's coming in your life? Okay, a lot of cards flew in. The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Coins. Okay. To start with your reading, pile number three, I see that you're feeling very uh, heavy. You're feeling burdened with, with a lot uh, on your shoulders with a lot to do on your on your part okay you have a lot of responsibilities and you have a re you have the responsibility to fulfill someone else's wishes okay pile number two uh sorry pile number three and i see that Although you are, uh, although you are not in a very strong financial position yourself, you're very kind and compassionate to help others. I get this very kind and compassionate um, energy from you, pile number three. No matter how difficult it looks, how difficult it seems for you to, you know, uh, drag someone else along with you. But you never stop doing this because it gives you a lot of peace, calm and happiness when you help someone else, no matter how difficult things get. Very beautiful, very kind soul, pile number three. You help a lot of, you know, poor people probably, or you are associated with some kind of an organization that fulfills the wishes and desires of a lot of other people. Okay, pile number three. Eight of Cups. But something is not quite, you know, um, giving you the result that you have been looking for. In spite of 
working so hard in spite of doing all that you needed to do um, to fulfill someone else's wishes, you still feel empty. And this makes you feel very heavy hearted and you really want to leave what you're doing, pile number three. Okay, you, you feel like walking out of the situation because you feel that you're not able to create a difference. Okay, um, for example, you have been working on an, uh, with an NGO with a strong cause to help stray animals get homes being adopted and somehow you have been struggling to you know get uh, happy homes for a lot of other for a lot of uh, uh, little uh, cats and dogs or other beings and this annoys you this makes you sad this makes you feel heavy and you feel that whatever i do is not enough is it the real, is it is it right what i am doing you you start questioning yourself okay that's the energy i see for you here pile number 3 what do you need to know you need you need to fight a little more longer pile number 3 please do not give up your spirit guides and guardian angels are telling you please do not give up pile number 3 you are at a higher position you see this man fighting these uh, who are attacking this person from a lower height. This person has the benefit of being at a, higher, at a higher height so that he can see who was attacking him. So you have the liberty, you have the benefit of being placed in a better position. You need to put on this fight for a little more longer. Please don't lose hope. Please stand your ground and fight a little more longer because the results are not going to disappoint you. Okay, pile number three. C. Judgment. Judgment is about to come. You are going to receive the beautiful judgment for all that you have been doing. Okay, you see this pomp and glory with how uh, like uh, people are welcoming Christ. And that's the energy that I see for you. I see a very godly energy here, pile number three for you. You are like a god for um, a lot of these beings whom you are helping. And although you don't see results now and it may... Uh, bother you it may pull you down it may want you to quit but please do not quit because your results are going to come soon and it's going to be beautiful you are going to celebrate what you see look at this card this is so beautiful what you're fighting for is going to show you results very soon pile number three What is your advice? What is your advice? Three of Cups. Take some time out. Um, engage with friends and family. Have some fun. Probably you are taking too much. Okay. You are loading yourself a little too much. Okay. I know you are helping a lot of people. You are... Um, working very hard you are trying to do a lot of things to make things work for these beings that you're trying to help but you have to take time out you have to replenish your soul you have to indulge in things that bring you joy like in, indulge in some good food once in a while go out for drinks with your friends do something that you know boosts up listen to some uh, music take some break Take, uh, go to some, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a gathering, a family gathering or a friends, uh, meet some friends, do something that uplifts you. Okay. Three of cups is very important in your life. Three of cups is having fun. 
it's it's just joy time that that me time and not me time but a very socializing time where you have fun with a group of people okay bring that into your life and whenever you bring that uh, happiness the joyful energy meeting people socializing uh, you raise your energy and as you raise your energy you match the vibration of that that you match the high vibration of your desires and your desires start coming true your manifestations start working faster okay so by number three please remember to take your break take uh, breaks and do something to lift your uh, energy queen of swords okay you need to be very uh, uh, sharp in your decisions do not think with your heart but think with your head okay i see that here there there is a lot of heart energy involved which is making you feel like you want to quit but look at it analytically look at it logically you have come a long way you have put in a lot of effort why do you want to make why do you want to want it to go waste okay uh, the queen of swords here is trying to tell you that you have to be very analytical you have to be very very um, think with your intellect think with your intelligence be rational in your choices be rational in your thoughts and you will see this beautiful judgment coming into your life okay so that was your reading pile number three i hope this was helpful um, and it brought a smile on your face if it resonated please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and also share it with your friends so that you can spread it so that you can spread the love and light and i will see you very soon in some other pick up eye reading till then take care bye bye